Hi guys, uh, welcome to uh, Plasma Cyber Security. Today we are going to see about the AAA of cyber security, access controlling. AAA means authentication, authorization and accounting. This layer is used to uh, controlling access to the computer resources. This AAA is entirely belongs to access controlling and access denying methods. Without wasting much time, let's get started. Authentication. The first layer of AAA of security is Authentication. Authentication means identifying the user who they are or whom they claim to be. It is the process of verifying identity of the person. For example, if you are entering in it into a network or into a campus, that should be a unique identity for you that should be authorized. For example, if, if it is a college, it should be a ID card that's whom you claim to be. And then if it is a network, that should be your user ID, uh, your uh, password, such as like that. Authentication provides confidentiality to the data which is maintained by the organization. Authentication can be done by some authentication factors, knowledge factors, something you are, that the user ID is something you are. So that could be a knowledge factor, possession factor, that's something you know, that you only know. Your password might be, your PIN might be, that something you know. An inherence factor, that is something you have, a regular device that you are logged in, or a multi-factor authentication, that could be your mobile device, or, or uh, any other device that you have in your hand, could be uh, authorized to you. That should be an ID card also. And then location factor, that is somewhere you are, the IP address, uh, if you are regularly accessing a particular resource from India, and then you are suddenly accessing particular res resource from UK that, that might be a conflict. So uh, from where you are or the IP belongs to you. Maybe sometimes uh, that uh, uh, some IP, some resources are not available in public. It, it would be available only on private. So that that is uh, where only on private network you can access the resource of that uh, location factor. And then behavioral factors that is something you do uh, that's your behavior for example if a user regularly accessing some resources then uh, particularly he deviated from that resources to a uh, new resources which he usually not using it uh, that seems to be a little bit unusual uh, so that could be uh, authentication missing that is authentication factors knowledge factors possession factors inherence factors location factors and behavioral factors Okay, second layer of uh, AAA of security is authorization. Authorization is nothing but uh, providing appropriate access or permission to the appropriate user. For a low end user, it could be a low end access. For a high end user, it could be a high end access. Authorization used for the confidentiality and integrity. Let's say you have a mobile banking app. Uh, you are having an account. You are having a balance of uh, $100 uh, on that if you are if you are checking into the account then uh, you have a low level of access that you can only have a read access uh, but the bank manager or the bank workers can have a write access uh, if you have the if the end user have the uh, write access it would be a complete breach anyone can log into the uh, bank portal and change their hundred dollars into one million dollars so that would be the integrity missing and then the confidentiality missing limiting the access to the limit limited account uh, privilege would help us to authorization in many organizations that can be a iam team identity access management team uh, the popular software used to for that identity access management is sailpoint cyber arc and uh, century 5 we'll get into that uh, deeper on later subjects uh, the suspicious authorization for uh, lowest account would be a, a privilege escalation low users having a high privilege uh, which means to be a privilege escalation the third layer of AAA security is accounting that accounting also known as auditing or tracking the um, users activities uh, comes under accounting uh, while accessing the networks or resources uh, accounting also represents accountability if activity happens on a network that needs to be claimed by some users or some person that needs to know from which account that activity has happened whom that account belongs to would be responsible for that activity 
that activities are managed by activities logs that is are collected by sim tools uh, most of the times accounting was maintained by sim tools such as plunk q radar and office 365 compliance and security that is not a, a sim tool but uh, it used to do maintain the activity logs uh, sim tool collects uh, splunk and q radar collects uh, authentication logs and system logs and windows logs and track the user's activity and uh, if it is uh, finds any suspicious it will trigger alerts o365 and compliance and security is separately for outlook and mails uh, of the user it's used to collect the logs on the user accounts uh, on the mail mailbox and then if any suspicious activity found any suspicious authentication or accessing or uh, any suspicious privileges happened on that uh, account it will trigger alert uh, based on that uh, uh, a cyber security team will work on that so this is a triple a of cyber security thank you we will get back to you clear knowledge on that uh, with uh, of some another subject on the another episode thank you